Hello my people, welcome to the SCORE channel. Today we have another interview with a student who left Peru to go study abroad. Today we interview Gabriela. She's currently studying in Spain in the city of Pamplona and she took some time to sit down with us and tell us about her experience studying in a private university. If you haven't checked out the Spain video, you should watch that one first. Gabriela goes into some more detail about her own personal experience, but if you need to know the basics for how to study in Spain, then check out the video that we released last week. So today we talk everything from being lonely, to learning how to cut onions, to living expenses and more. If you want to know the full experience, check out this video, enjoy the interview, and you won't be seeing me until the end. So I'll see you later. Hi, my name is Gabriela Castellares, and I study at the University of Navarra in Pamplona, Spain. This is my second year in audiovisual communication. Okay, so I knew I wanted to get out of Peru. That was for sure. And then I decided Europe because, I don't know, my school was Italian and I wanted to discover Europe. So I wanted Spain because I love cinema and all and also because of language because of lifestyle i don't know the partying um all the universities here were great i saw like many universities that had audiovisual communications but i saw this one and it was very international and the courses were great and the city was great and i loved the city and i i came here with my mom to check it out and I loved it so I said okay let's give it a try. I'm a hundred percent Peruvian so I had to make a visa and all of that and that was horrible actually it was a very long process but my university helped me a lot and that's something I'm very grateful for because it was a nightmare. First, I had to give them all my grades from school and a letter of recommendation that Mr. Markowski made for me that I'm so grateful. And a CV with all my extracurriculars. Then I had to do an exam for the university. But it was very basic, very easy, actually. And it was online, so, you know, I had the internet. And also, I had to do an interview. We met on the restaurant and we talked. Yeah, it was pretty chill. And like a letter of why I wanted to study there. And that's it. Okay, so they give you the possibility to do all the courses in Spanish or you can take some courses in Spanish and other ones in English. But if you decide to make some in English, you have to do an exam or you have to, to have like a C1 level more than this. I started taking some in English, but right now I'm taking only in Spanish. Okay, so my university is very international. So there are many res residents. I, I decided to go in this company that is called Campus Home. They give you an apartment. If you don't have friends here, they give you roommates. They can also give you a service that includes like a lady that comes every day to your house and clean the apartment, cook for you, even make the groceries. So basically you don't have to do anything but study because they give you everything and it's amazing. So I did that my first year. I, I went with a friend, so they gave us an apartment for four. So we were Lydia and me and two other girls. And now this is my second year and I changed apartments and I moved with my friends with the same company. But now I only have a plan that includes like a lady coming here Monday to Friday and she only cleans 
the apartment and we do the groceries and we cook. So it's cheaper. My first year that I was in that program that includes everything, including groceries, I didn't have to spend that much because they already like gave me food. And that a month cost like 900 more than less. Besides that, I, well, sometimes I went out or something like with my friends to parties, to restaurants, to bars or something like that. And I spent like 100, 200 months, uh, euros a month. It is a private university. Well, a year is more than less like 10,000 euros. But this year, or oh, I mean last year, I had something that is called matricula de honor. That is when you have more than nine of an average. So I had that and they gave me like a discount. For every course that you have matricula de honor, it's like 200 euros less. Yeah, so if you have good, very good grades, they will give you a discount. I first thought there wasn't like so much partying or something like that because this isn't a big city. But there are many, many things to do here. There is always a party. Like in Lima, I used to make my own parties in my house, but here is like, we're used to getting out, take chupitos, take cubata, you know? And it's actually pretty cheap. It's very safe. There is like no one. I can be drunk in the street and nothing would happen to me. I think so, I hope. <laughs> if I wanted to cross the street, the car would stop. And I'm not used to that, you know? <laughs> so when I lived in Lima, I didn't know how to do anything. I don't know, they cook for me, they uh, make my bed, they literally, they have always made everything for me. And here it was like, I learned a lot of stuff, like I learned how to do my groceries, how to wash my clothes. I didn't know how to wash my clothes and now I do. I learned how to cook. I didn't know how to cut an onion and now I do. So <laughs> I feel like I'm very independent now and I have learned all this stuff. I have learned how to travel and I know it doesn't sound so important, but it is. I have organized trips with my friends. I have rented an Airbnb and all of that on my own. Like, I think that this experience has made me like so independent. I'm very grateful for that. Like, that's the best thing that's ever happened to me. Mm, I would say take the risk. I mean, I know it's a big change to move to another country, to be away from your parents for that long, but it's difficult sometimes. It's going to be terrifying sometimes. You'll, you're going to feel lonely sometimes, definitely. You're going to miss your people, your food, but it's all the experience. I can't describe it. I mean, it's amazing. So. It is a big risk, definitely, but take it because, I don't know, it changes your life. We really want to say thank you again to Gabriela for taking the time to talk to us, and we hope that you guys enjoyed the interview. If you like this stuff, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, because we have more of these coming up. Let us know in the comments what other countries you would like us to do a deep dive on. Next week, we're going to talk about how to prepare for English exams and which English exams you should take. So make sure you're subscribed, and I'll see you next week.